Correct, my love. Alabama deserves better. Say it with me. Alabama deserves better. Medicare and Medicaid patients have to choose between their food and prescriptions. Say it. Alabama deserves better. Alabama deserves better. When education is not properly funded, Alabama deserves better. When we are not taking care of the needs of our veterans who have sacrificed their limbs, their lives, and their freedom, they have sacrificed their mental peace of mind for the rest of their lives, and they are not treated properly, Alabama deserves better. When these state troopers who are standing here protecting us today are underfunded, when their pain and their ability to employ the officers needed to protect and preserve, to protect and serve the state of Alabama is underfunded, Alabama deserves better. You don't have the money to keep troopers on the highways. You don't have the money to help senior citizens keep from having to choose between food and prescriptions. You don't have the money for veterans' benefits. You don't have the money for education. But you have $11 million to join a lawsuit about bathrooms. Alabama deserves better. That's what I say it again. Alabama, Alabama deserves better. Say it again. Alabama, Alabama deserves, better. deserves better. We deserve better than a state that is not going to properly fund the basic needs of its citizens. We deserve better than a state that is going to underfund the, those who cannot defend themselves, that is going to underfund our law enforcement while they fund and pay for discrimination. Those are my tax dollars. They're your tax dollars too. We have a voice in what happens. We have a voice in how those dollars are spent. Your voice is your vote. Use your voice and vote. Vote. Vote for a better Alabama. Make the change you see. Understand me when I say this. I told... I, where we at? That generator might run out of gas, but I don't. <laughs> yes, ma'am, honey. Let me go ahead and explain it to you right here, right now, ladies and gentlemen. As, as, as citizens of the state of Alabama, citizens who reside in the state of Alabama, we have the chance and the opportunity to make a better Alabama for ourselves, for our children, for our families, and for our future. Change will never happen in America if it doesn't happen in Alabama first. From the Trail of Tears to women's suffrage to civil rights, change in America starts in Alabama. Say it, change in America starts in Alabama. Say it again, change in America. Starts in Alabama. You are that change today. You know, a lot of people talk about how Roy Moore got elected. Roy, let me explain something to you. Roy Moore did not get elected by his supporters. That's what I told the students at AUM University last night. Roy Moore was not selected by his supporters. Roy Moore was elected by the people who stayed home. It is the people who stay home that elect bad officials. It is not the citizens who vote. It is those who don't participate in the power that is given to them by their own government. Those are the people who elect bad officials. Those are the people who allow evil to creep into the houses of government and trickle down onto the population. Do not be one of those people who stays home when you have a chance and you go to the voting polls. Do not be the only one in the car. Make a better chance. Give these troopers some backup. Give senior citizens some decent health care. Give veterans some benefits. Give our children a decent education so that we are not leaving them walking out of high school and start trying to crawl up from the bottom of the barrel. Because why? Alabama. That's right. Say it again. Alabama. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. 
Hold on a second. I done, I done, y'all, y'all, y'all got the spirit going up in me. I done lost my place in my spot. Here it is, and here we are. Hold on. What time are we? We're at 11 o'clock. Okay. I'm just trying to be sure. I'm, I'm, I'm keeping somewhat in and on track. I'm looking for a young lady. Um, so, hold on just a second. 